I'm Randy Nelson. Uh, I'm the head of Mobile Insights at Sensor Tower. Uh, we're a uh, market intelligence firm uh, covering the uh, mobile app ecosystem. I don't know. Uh, I actually know one person here who knows about Sensor Tower and uses and uses the Sensor Tower. I don't know if anyone else. Uh, is there a show of hands of anyone who's heard of Sensor Tower or has used the product before? Okay, great, great. Okay. Um, so basically, like I said, we're a, um, a market intelligence platform for the mobile app ecosystem. Uh, we were founded in 2013. We were part of uh, the Angel Tech round uh, that year. And uh, since then, we've gone on to develop uh, the three products that make up our platform. Uh, the products that make up our platform are app intelligence, which is based on um, around uh, app store optimization and organic traffic. Uh, there's store intelligence. Uh, which uh, is uh, focuses on um, uh, revenue and, and download data uh, for the app store and Google Play internationally. And then our newest product uh, is Ad Intelligence, which is a uh, advertising uh, intelligence product uh, that focuses on share of voice for mobile app install advertising. Um, so basically, uh, in my role as the head of Mobile Insights, uh, what I do on a daily basis um, that's, that's kind of a fancy way of saying that I obsess about mobile apps. And so, uh, as part of that, uh, one of the, the things that I have to do on a daily basis is uh, answer questions. I work with, with the media a lot, uh, and they um, will come to me with questions about the mobile app ecosystem. And fortunately, with our products, uh, it's actually quite uh, easy and, and um, easy to uh, answer those questions. So. Um, let me start with a, a demo and take you through the, the platform a little bit. Um, I don't know uh, if there's anyone here who hasn't heard of a little app uh, called Pokemon Go uh, that was launched just about a month ago and has already reached uh, about 160 million uh, worldwide revenue on both the app stores. Uh, but what we do is we collect uh, data from the app store and Google Play uh, and in our app intelligence product, we present all of that data in one place. It's, it's not just um, you know, the app name and app reviews, uh, but it's a history of everything. So it's a history of reviews. Uh, it's a history of, of the app's rankings. And it really helps provide a complete picture uh, of each and every app on the app store internationally. And as part of that intelligence, uh, what we offer um, is a uh, full suite of app store optimization uh, modules uh, that will help with keyword optimization, will give you a better idea of uh, how you will rank for certain keywords uh, once you optimize your app, help you find the right keywords to target. Um, moving on though to uh, store intelligence, um, I wanted to show you, since we have limited time, a couple of examples of using our model of the app store to um, compare and, and provide some intelligence on um, trends uh, that are in, in the app store today. Um, the first of those is actually something that I was looking at recently uh, when I had a media request from um, one of my contacts uh, in, in the media. Uh, and that question was, how does uh, the launch of Pokemon Go uh, stack up to the other launches of other uh, other successful launches of mobile apps uh, in the past couple of years. And so, looking at the data that we have here, uh, what I've got up on the screen in our store intelligence product is uh, Candy Crush uh, Jelly Saga from King. Um, you can see here's its launch. Uh, it launched in uh, right after the start of the year, uh, and it's what's considered to be a very successful launch uh, for a mobile game. Uh, then I bring in another title you've probably heard of. Uh, which is Clash Royale, and you can see there, uh, this is you know a, a comparable launch. Uh, and then when we start to bring in data on uh, Pokemon Go in the United States so far, <laughs> of how that launch compares, and, and this is all in terms of downloads, and this is from our model of the App Store. Um, but you know that that's one way. When I was talking to a couple of my media contracts, they were asking me, you know. Like, how do we kind of put this into perspective? How do we put this launch into perspective? And it's the same kind of questions that, you know, if you're an app publisher, um, you want to be able to see um, other insights. Like, for instance, how does original content, uh, in this case, how does original content affect 
uh, the revenue of an app like HBO Now. And, and here we can very clearly see we have last year's uh, premieres of Game of Thrones and a month after Game of Thrones, and then we have this year's premiere of Game of Thrones for revenue in HBO Now, uh, and then the month after, and then we see, and it looks like some people might have uh, stopped subscribing to HBO Now after Game of Thrones. <laughs> Um, but a uh, quick shout out to uh, Eugene because everyone else has mentioned Slack. Uh, we have a full API, uh, so if you're an enterprise customer, uh, some of ours include uh, Uber, uh, Supercell, uh, MZ, Zynga. Uh, you can pull all of this great data uh, through our API, and then we actually, uh, this is what I was getting at, uh, we've actually launched a Slack integration recently. Uh, so if we pull up Slack, uh, this is this is really handy for someone like myself who needs to be updated on things like uh, oh Pokemon Company had a huge spike for some reason uh, in the past couple of weeks in downloads so that's like a really quick nickel tour of Sensor Tower but um, here are questions. Uh, I would say that 
um, that's that's not the case. Um, and I mean, that's not necessarily something to do with, with what we do as sensor tower ourselves, or what any of our competitors do. Um, or you know, there's there's that thought that well, with Apple changing the App Store and discovery on the App Store, you know, where do you fit in in that? And I would say, well, to that. Um, from all indications, you know, App Store optimization is still going to be a really vital part of uh, launching any <coughs> app, maintaining any app because it's an iterative process. Um, but when when you look at that, you know, that's one one of the not reasons why, but we obviously, even though we launched as as purely as an App Store optimization platform, that we've moved on uh, in recent years to providing you know App Store. Uh, Data for you know revenue and downloads, and also for uh, advertising and promotion as So I use Sensor Power pretty much for like App Store optimization, mm -hmm. and uh, like right now how it works is you know you have 100 characters to use on your iTunes. Mm -hmm. So you basically I go on Sensor Power and I see a bunch of words and it tells me the difficulty of our app ranking for those words. Wouldn't it be like efficient if your solution was just Enter your app name, what category you're in, and press a button, and we'll tell you what what best oh. 15 keywords to use in those 100 characters. That is, that is very interesting. Since you guys have all the data on what other apps are using, is you, so you can put your category and your app and have app name. Because app name also factors into mm -hmm. portal. You know, yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it gets yeah. indexed as, yeah. a, as, as a keyword. As a keyword as well. Yeah, yeah that's very interesting. So, because right now I spent hours and hours and put it on an Excel spreadsheet and like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, tried to figure out the weight of like per character count. Mm -hmm. You know, does this keyword make sense? Is it too big or not? But it would be somewhat simpler if I just had another. But how would it? How would it? How would it? That, that require understanding what what, what what your app does. Correct. Which which I. I Okay. You're totally with that. No, possibly. Yeah, I would say, you know, what should I have done? Yeah, you could, you could put that into, like, that, that's, so yeah. apart from just a category, okay. you could have some of the main keywords that you want to rank for, like selling baby toys, okay. right? And then they could, they would know what keywords people that type sell baby toys yeah. also yeah. type. All right. And yeah. which are less than that. Thank you very much. You'll be around for more questions. <laughs>